Hello, hello, and how are you out there in the YouTube world? I hope you're doing well. We are on day 10 of the 10 of the 31 days to motivate challenge. That was hard to spit out, okay? Give me a break. Um, <laughs> so basically, today we are going to be talking about personal growth, which is a huge, huge interest of mine and part of how I train people and how I interact with everyone in my life. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please make sure you go back to day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine before watching today's 10th video. Um, and make sure you've subscribed and liked this channel so you get these notifications when a video comes up. Okay. All right, with that being said, let's get this bad boy started. So I feel like my journey to this personal growth world actually came very naturally. Um, it coupled with my fitness journey and I feel like when I started taking care of my body, I really started to learn the value of myself. Um, I won't say that I had very little self-worth or put myself down. Obviously, we all have moments um, where we don't think very highly of ourselves. Um, and I definitely am not an exception to that rule. So when I was learning about fitness and my body and, and really working towards you know taking care of myself, um, I started to feel a need to learn from the exercise that I was doing in a different way. I know that sounds strange, but I started to learn a lot about myself when I was exercising. Um, so this put me on a path to, you know, looking into personal growth and how that works. And I love the way the brain works. I don't know if you know this about me, probably not. Um, maybe a few of my clients do, but I have a background in biology with a minor in chemistry. I got my degree in biology. And so the brain really fascinates me. In fact, it's the reason that I changed my major to biology. Um, brain chemistry is interesting and the way that it changes really fascinates me. So that's basically what started me on looking into personal growth. Um, so my number one or my first tip um, to your personal growth journey, I am not a guru, I'm just saying this is the, what I've learned in my, my life, um, is self-reflection. Um, taking some time daily to reflect on how you're feeling and you know how the interactions you've had, ooh, my hair, um, the interactions you've had throughout your day and how you've handled them really benefits your soul. It benefits your mind and it really helps you to grow and maybe handle those situations differently. I know I like to daily journal, even if it's for like five to 10 minutes about the um, things that have gone on in my life on that day just so I can look back and maybe see, oh crap, I could have handled that better or dang, I spent that whole day worrying about the situation that turned out to not be in my control at all. Um, and that helps me grow. So self-reflection is a really big piece when you're trying to grow as a person in this world because we are all on a journey. We are all on a journey. I am not a yoga instructor and I am definitely not a guru, but we are on a journey. I do understand that. And we all are here to learn something new. Um, personal growth books. So this is something that I feel like I could start my own YouTube channel on solely personal growth book reviews. I swear I've read so many books on personal growth, but here are my favorites. Um, my number one favorite personal growth book would be You Are a Badass by Jen Shintero. She has a whole series on that, on um, like personal growth books. And I think one's like You Are a Badass at Making Money, You Are a Badass at Habits. Um, she's a wonderful writer and she's very knowledgeable. And I just, I love, I love her books. So um, the next one would be Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. Um, I was a huge fan of Rachel and I still am. She's wonderful. Um, and this is a second in her series of personal growth books. Her first one was, uh, oh, girl, wash your face. I can't even believe I stumbled on that. Um, but this is the second and it really did help me apply some of the tools to personal growth that she had been discussing in her first book. So that's another one. Third, uh, book that I love is the four agreements. 
honestly, when I read that, I was going through a very difficult time in my life. And it is an amazing book. It was written about 40 years ago, I think, but it still holds true. And it talks about people's victim versus uh, Viking mentality. When things happen bad to you in life, um, you can either take on what he calls a victim mentality or a Viking mentality. And it's pretty interesting to see how maybe in even in my own life, how that's played out. And I think it offered me a lot of perspective on how to handle things in the future. So I do love it. It's called The Four Agreements. I cannot think of the author's name, but I will try and find it for you guys to link it in the description. Okay. Um, Untamed. Untamed by Glennon Doyle is probably one of my favorites. Uh, I read that when we were shut down. And honestly, I she's an amazing human being and talks about a lot of things in life that um, we all, as women, and this is for you guys too, men, I, I don't wanna cut you out of this because she does talk about how men are put into a certain role as well as women and how um, basically we it's our jobs to try and grow from, from those situations. And honestly, it was amazing. So I really loved that. Um, also, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Out of all of these books, this, um, this book is going to be the most different and the most unique. Um, David Goggins, if you don't know who he is, he is a former Navy SEAL, or he still may be a Navy SEAL. Oh gosh, I hope he doesn't ever watch this video and is insulted by this because he's pretty scary. Um, he's a, a major, major it's a memoir and it basically, he gives you some tidbits, especially in the Audible book. Um, he talks very candidly about how to um, make a mind that is impenetrable, solid and strong. And I honestly loved it. It was a little bit trigger warning, um, difficult for me because he talks about some situations um, that are very hard to hear. Um, so I would say if you have any past traumas that, um, maybe you wouldn't feel very comfortable listening to them being relived, probably not the book for you, but I will say it was a great read and definitely something that I will read again because it does, it, it helps you build what he calls a, um, hard mind, a, an impenetrable mind. And he's a pretty big badass. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jen Chinchero definitely wrote about him. Um, and there are many, many more I could go on forever. So if you have any questions or if you'd like to ask me about a personal growth book that you are currently reading, I'd love to chit chat about them. Um, they're probably my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Not going to lie. I love listening to other people's stories. They're just so inspiring. So my next tip for you would be um, yoga. <laughs> yoga has helped me to really bend before I break. Um, I get into yoga when I'm really searching for some answers um, that I can't seem to get from anywhere else. Um, and I know that sounds super cheesy, but it's the truth. There's a lot withheld in your body um, as far as, and this may sound hippy dippy to you, but really the body does hold on to a lot of um, experiences and it's been neurologically and scientifically proven. So when you're stretching and you're breathing in yoga, it helps you to get into those, into your body even further. It gives you an understanding of how the mind and the body connect. And honestly, it's pretty incredible. There have been multiple times and don't you tell anybody that I have actually cried in yoga class. It's pretty incredible um, because I've come to a realization or I felt something that it's just like awe inspiring. So <laughs> you probably think I'm a nut by this end of this video, but honestly, it's pretty incredible. So if you're looking to really grow, I would say couple yoga with your exercise. It's incredible, incredible. Okay, um, another piece that definitely helped me was talk therapy. There is nothing better, I feel, for personal growth than investigating the, the situations that made you who you are and the coping mechanisms that have become your habits and your part of your life. Again, I always talk about awareness and becoming aware in talk therapy of the things that you do. Um, honestly, there's nothing to replace it. Therapy is has just 
completely helped me investigate how I handle things, how to handle things outside of some of my terrible coping mechanisms that I had in the past over exercising, restrictive dieting, and definitely excessive cleaning, okay? <laughs> and I still love those things, there's still part of my personality, but definitely talking about those things has helped me um, and handle them in a different situation. So I may be <laughs> taking a venture back after 2020 because she was a doozy, but I definitely recommend if you're searching for something that you just can't find within yourself, talk therapy is, is there. Um, and meditation. So number five is going to be meditation. Um, this is a growth journey and I am definitely on it too. I, I try really hard, but it's not something that comes naturally to me. Obviously my brain has a million thoughts in a day and I don't always have control of it. So meditating and slowing down has definitely helped me in a lot of ways. Um, I, it is part of one of my 31 days to motivate goals. And it's definitely something that I recommend if you're searching for personal growth, if you're searching to become someone you haven't been before. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed all of my tips. I will try and link some of the, the books down below and definitely let me know if you're enjoying this. Let me know if you're going to be applying these things. And if you need anything, get at me. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you take away some tidbits with you and I hope you have a wonderful one. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye guys. Mwah.